Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Andrew and Nicole. If you are looking to upgrade your desktop working experience, especially at night, like this, please stay tuned until the end of the video and we're going to show you a wonderful gadget today. So we're gonna unbox the Bezos light bar or the screen bar LED for you. Before we open it up, I wanna show you the box and see the basic features noted here in this light bar. So this is the Bezos lighting. It's an iWalk series source screen hanging light. Let me just show you briefly. Okay, the different sides of the box. And you'll be able to maybe read out the descriptions. So we have three kinds of light, the white light, 55,000K, mixed light, 4,000K, and warm light, 2800K. All right, so it has three modes. This is what it looks like from the back. And this is how you install from your monitor. Okay, it's very easy to install and it uses USB power. So you need to have a USB port in your computer or an external, external USB power. And the other side of the box. So this is how what it's supposed to look like in your monitor. All right, this is the basic technical specifications. And what else? Some basic features are the following. It's a symmetric light source, no blue light, no strobing flash, three lighting modes, a touch control for stepless dimming, simple alloy process, and installed in one second actually more than that depending on your monitor just stable metal counterweight and of course usb power supply from the sides okay so asymmetric light source and here all right so let's open the box and see what's inside and what is included Here is the contains the light bar in itself, well packaged in plastic. We'll take a look at it closer later on. We have instruction manuals. Okay, I think these are all in English and Chinese. So you have this one. So English manual. Okay. So you can pause the video if you wanna read or zoom in if you wanna read. Okay. And at the back, of course, it's a Chinese version, and we're gonna skip right over because I don't read much Chinese. Okay. And it came with a USB C power adapter, a power cable. So let me just focus it for you. So USB Type-A on this one and USB Type-C. Okay, so let's put this out and take a look at the light bar in itself. So it's metal construction, alloy. Feels good to the hand. Looks very premium. And these are your controls. So you have the power, the changing of the light type, and the dimming. Okay, so you can see the light here. Okay. Very nice looking. And this is the base. This has a rubber to make sure it will not scratch your monitor. And you can actually move it like this. To find the right angle for your monitor it also has a rubber here here at the bottom this will latch onto your bezels monitor bezels okay at the back this is obviously made in china okay and you have all of these 
and you have the USB port at here, here, USB-C, powers by USB-C. Okay, so we're now going to do a demonstration wherein I install it in my monitor. See you shortly. So now we're going to install this Bezos light bar to my Xiaomi Mi Curve gaming monitor. If you're interested to find out more about this monitor, I made also a video on this one. I'll put the links in the description and of course in the cards up here. All right, so to install this light bar is very fairly easy. In fact, it will just take you a few moments or a few seconds to do it. Now, first you have to get your USB. So this is the USB and plug it here in the back. So just plug it. Make sure you align it well. Okay, so it's now powered up. And to install this in your monitor, just simply turn it off. Just tilt this one up and down, up and down. This is the swivel or the tilt. Okay, and this this will be the the clip to hold in your monitor. Okay, so just do it like this one. And you're done. Okay, so now we're going to demonstrate how to use this light bar in, a, in conjunction with your monitor. So you, to turn it on, just press the last button. This is already the, the, the daylight. And you can change the brightness. Were you able to see that? Okay. And you can change the color temperature. So this is the warm and this is the combination okay so three colors they light warm and combination of somewhere in between so you can change the brightness and darkness that's it so here's another angle I'd like to show you we're now shooting in the afternoon but i turned off all the lights that i can so that it's gonna be dark and you better appreciate the lighting effect of the screen bar so right now my monitor is off and i'm going to demonstrate the different lighting again so this is the warm light change the light color temperature okay so three 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 oh the good thing about this one is if you set a temper brightness level it can remember so you can adjust it okay so it, darker or brighter so as you can see, it will light up your working space without giving you a glare. It will not hit, the light will not hit the monitor. It will just hit the bottom. Now, if you're rocking a flat screen, this will be, be better because I'm currently using a curved one. So the, 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 the light can also, the light can also uh, hit the screen. Okay, if you turn on your monitor, like this one, so again, you have the light at your desk. It's very bright and you can still change the color to warm depending on your mood of the day. Okay, so now we're going to discuss and review the Bezos screen light bar, give you the pros and cons in my observation. I've been using it for the past couple of days and number one pros is the build quality. Now, given the, the construction, it's metal and that feels durable and, and I think it will last you a long, long time. It has an LED lighting and LED lighting saves you electricity and it will last you a long, long time. And number two, it has multiple light color, light temperature. So you have the warm light, you have the daylight and you have the combination. So you can also adjust the brightness depending on the level you want. You can customize it and it saves your presets. For example, for the daylight, you want this brightness and for warm light, you want it dimmer. And if you turn it off, it will save it, save, save your, saves your preset. Okay. And number three, it's very affordable. Okay. I'll put the links down below. We got this from uh, Lazada or Shopee. You can find this in around 1,300 pesos or around 15 to uh, sorry 20 to 20 to 25 dollars 
depending on sale. And my brother actually was able to get this at 900 pesos and below because of all the promos and discounts that is available. So still unaffordable for the construction. All the links again will be down below. If you're gonna support my channel, please use those links. And number four, the, the design of the lighting is asymmetric, meaning it will not hit the monitor, it will not hit the, the screen. It will just hit your desktop spaces. As you can see, it's very wide coverage. And it has USB-C as the port. Now, as we move along to the future, everything will be in USB-C. So you can expect you can use this one for a longer period of time. And of course, one very detailed or at least a, a nice touch to this lighting is on the buttons, they have actually mini mini light. Okay, assuming you turn off everything and you're or in your you're in pure black, you cannot see anything. There is a tiny glimmer of light wherein it will tell you which button or which which area of the light bar you are pressing so that you'll be able to adjust the settings. Okay, so I'll put a picture so that I'm in the close up and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now let's go to the cons. Number one is that if you have a monitor like mine, a curved one, it fits nice but doesn't fit exactly well. Now the bezel of my monitor is, of course, it's not flat, it's curved. So the, the clip is actually uh, sometimes not holding securely. Okay, so maybe uh, it's, it's kind of weird, of course. But if you have a flat monitor, this will fit nicely. That's like a clip like this one. It, it will be uh, good. Okay, now number two, the cons is that if your desktop has a webcam or if your laptop, you can actually use this one in your laptop. And if your webcam is, inst is located in the middle, in the middle of your monitor on, on top, you have to find a way to adjust either the light bar or your webcam. Okay, so it's gonna be up to your preference wherein you, where you want to put the webcam is. And next is, I'm also hesitant. Now, if you're gonna use this one for long periods of time, if your bezel is very, very thin, okay, the clip, the, the, the pressure of the clip it's not that hard, but who knows, after a long period of time, it might cause a dent or a damage to the pixel below the, the clip. Now, if your monitor has a bigger bezel, then no problem. Or if you have a thin bezels, the, the clip might also obstruct your view. So if you want to have a, a, a view on top, you will you'll be obstructed because of the, the clip. Okay, it might cover your monitor. Okay, so hopefully after prolonged use of this clip it will not damage your monitor okay so that's it that's the pros and cons of this basis light bar now i would like to take this opportunity to to thank you for tuning in to watch my video up to this point and if you've been a subscriber for since i started in my youtube thank you very much for supporting if not please give us a thumbs up and like this video and please subscribe and thank you very much and i already have around almost 1500 subscribers and i hope i can hit that before the end of 2020 let's end 2020 with the bang okay so there you go guys and shout out to my my brother for for introducing me to this light bar and merry christmas to all this is shot during christmas day you might see it on another day but Merry Christmas and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and a wonderful new year in 2021. So thank you very much again for watching and I hope you enjoyed and liked my video and see you on to the next video. Bye-bye.